Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thank you for stopping by for a visit today. If you're here for the first time, I'm Kayla and this is my yarn tube where I show my crochet pieces and talk about yarn and all kinds of yarny things. So I thank you for stopping by. So today is Saturday and we're just having a relaxing day. We're not doing anything too much. Big Daddy has had a long work week where he worked long hours and so he just needs a day to rest and so that's what he's doing. And I have just been crocheting and you know having fun. And so I wanted to come on here with a video and show you what I have made. So um, I love this book. It has so many, so many fun little projects in it. The Happy Gurumi, 20 super cute Amigurumi toys to crochet. And it is really cute things in here to crochet. So I thumbed through the book and this turtle caught my eye. And I said, I've got to make that turtle. <laughs> it says in the little bubble above it, it says, Life in the Fast Lane is overrated. And that is so true. I mean, you know, there is a time in life for the busyness and lots of things going on and stuff. And then there's a time to slow down and enjoy life. So <laughs> that is very true. When my kids were young, I homeschooled my kids and we were on the go all the time like go 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 every day we had activities field trips um you know different school things going on and such and so we were on the go a lot whenever we did have a day to stay home we were just like oh we can stay home today and we were so thankful <laughs> but um you know i kept my kids involved with their homeschool friends and activities and stuff to be social and so um, because that was my job part as homeschooling them I also had to you know provide those opportunities for them so we were just busy busy and not only did we do homeschool stuff we did um, dog training and um, Elijah and even Dakota at one time did dog training classes and would take their dogs to um, um, Club, the dog, <laughs> I lost my words, to the dog club um, once a week. Sometimes I think we even went twice a week. And then um, then they would um, enter into um, rally contests, agility contests, and things like that. And so we were also busy with that. And then we also had flea market booths and in several different locations and towns <laughs> and so we were busy with that so we had a full full busy life I mean it was we were on the go all the time and then that's not even counting like church and church activities um, on top of all that so we, we had a lot going on <laughs> and so um, and we would also go see different plays and um, you know different th things at the theater and just you know, we always had somewhere to go, somewhere to be. And that was the season for that life because my kids were young and I was raising my kids. And now um, my kids are grown. They are both successful, productive adults and I don't have to worry about them. So they're living their life and me and Big Daddy's living our life. And I am in the slow lane for sure. But you know what? I'm living my best life and I'm enjoying it so much. I do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. <laughs> so how can you complain about that, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm here by myself all day long every day, but um, I'm doing what I want to do. Now, I will say that I do get tired of staying at home. I've never been a homebody. I've always been a go-go-go person. But even um, even whenever life had slowed down some, I've always been the type that would, um, like three days has always been my max of how many days I can stay at home. And then I need to go, okay? Mm -hmm. I've always been like that. So um, 
I could stay home about three days and then cabin fever would hit in and I got to go. And so I have been staying at home like a lot lately because I don't have a vehicle anymore. My car is broke down and needs a new motor and that's probably not going to happen. So um, I don't have a vehicle. <laughs> so I'm stuck here and can't go and do as I please on my own. But um, that's the only thing I have to complain about. <laughs> Everything else is, you know, it's fine. It's kosher. I'm just living my best life, doing whatever I want to do when I want to do it. So, yes, life in the fast lane is overrated. <laughs> that was my spiel. Okay, so I made that little turtle, and this is how she turned out. And so the one in the book had blue, and I, ch I changed and wanted mine to be a girl, and I made her pink. And then I put some um, fuchsia color spots on her. And so on her, I did use a G hook. Yeah, a G hook. And this green did not have a label on it, but it is a neon lime green. And I don't, I don't remember what brand that was from, but it is very, very bright. It's not that spring green because it's much brighter than that it's like a neon so i used the neon for that and then um i used red heart super saver pink and then um these spots are like a this craft smart like a fuchsia color and then on the bottom i used a gray on the bottom of his shell i've always liked pink and green together um i just always liked that and so I wanted to make him her pink and green and make her a girl. And um let's see if I have any more notes. I'm writing I think I'm writing my keeping up with my notes in my notebook and stuff, so I'm checking to see if there's anything else I was supposed to tell. I think I told everything about her. So anyway, she was sitting up there, I had her sitting on my desk at eye level, on the shelf above my desk at eye level. So she's been sitting there and I've been looking at her her bald head and I decided she needs a hat <laughs> so I made this little hat to go on her head and I just smile whenever I look at her <laughs> she's sitting up there on my desk and she's kind of looking at me like that and so I just smile when I look at her and on her hat I just kind of made that up I did a, um six single crochets and then increased um two single crochets in each one and then a one single crochet increase and then probably a two single crochet increase and then i did um back loops only single crochet and then another single crochet row in the front loops only and so it would make a brim and so i just made her that cute little hat and it fits perfectly on her head <laughs> And I just smile when I look at her. <laughs> and now I'm, I am thinking I need to make a big turtle. Like I'm thinking I want to make more turtles in different sizes. I think she is very cute in her size, but I think I need a jumbo turtle. I don't know what far, but I got the feeling that that's going to be one of my future projects. <laughs> So, I like turtles. I had a pet turtle. Well, actually, Elijah had a pet turtle that I claimed as my pet turtle. And so, when we got him. Elijah named him Rocky. He was young. <laughs> he was real little. I uh, can't remember how old he was, but he was pretty little. Like, four or five, maybe. And he named the turtle Rocky. And so, Rocky lived in our kitchen right as you went into the doorway, there was a little short filing cabinet that had Rocky's tank on it, and he lived there. And we had Rocky for 10, 11 years. We had him a long, long time. And then when our home flooded in 2016, um, during that time, we had so much going on. We had to move out of our house, and we ended up having to rebuild our house. But anyway, during that time... Rocky passed away 
And I was very sad about that because um, I did enjoy Rocky. He was a spoiled little turtle. And he had personality. Who would have thought a turtle could have so much personality? But he did. And so he, um, when I would go into the kitchen, he would come up to whatever side of the tank I was on and just, hit, you know, do his feet up on the glass. And um, I would get little, little freeze-dried shrimp and hold down to him. And he would reach his head up and take it from my hand. And um, wherever I was, he would come to that side of his tank in the kitchen. And also, he interacted with the dogs. At that time, Dakota, uh, not Dakota, Elijah had a big German shepherd. And she and that turtle would interact together. And that was real interesting to see. Like, when I finally noticed what was going on, like, I, I was watching them and I was like, okay, they're like interacting together. And so I would just kind of pay attention to that. And sure enough, every time Sasha would come in there, Rocky and Sasha would like play through the glass, you know. But um, he was a very interesting turtle. I mean, I thought he was cute as he could be. We got him from a pet store when he was tiny, tiny, and he grew... Um, he was about that size when we got, when he, you know, passed away. Um, and Elijah used to take him outside and let him walk out in the sun. He'd have to stay right with him and keep an eye on him. But he would take him outside and let him walk around dirt and grass and get some sunshine and stuff. And so, and then um, bring him back and put him in his tank. And we had large rocks in there. Like we had rocks on the bottom and then some large platform rocks where he could get out and stuff of the water, but he had stayed the same. <laughs> and so, anyway, he was just a lot of fun. And I do miss having him, but I don't think I could tend to him, tend to a turtle right now. <laughs> you know, having to clean the tank and all that. So, anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to share with you guys my turtle that I made and to say that there's going to be more turtles in my future. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, um, um, hope you all are enjoying your day. You can um, let me know what you got going on today and just, you know, you, do you have things planned for the 4th? Which I'll probably be putting out some more videos. Um, I know I have a video for the 4th because I'm working on a project for the 4th. And I want to share that with y'all on Monday the 4th. So, and there'll probably be a video tomorrow too. So just check back with me. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye, friends.